In August, Pope Francis named five new members to the Pontifical Academy of Sciences, three of which are women who have won Nobel Prizes. Dr. Donna Strickland of Canada became the third woman to ever win the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2018 for her research on lasers. She says joining the so-called Vatican think tank is a unique opportunity to collaborate with scientists from around the world. The exciting part about this particular academy is that it is a truly international. Most academies are academies of their nations. Um, and so it is a chance for those of us to um, talk amongst ourselves right across disciplines and across geography. The origins of the Pontifical Academy of Sciences date back to 1603 as the world's first exclusively scientific academy. Now it offers a valuable link between the world's leading scientists, the church, and people of faith. Its membership is comprised of top-level academics, such as Stephen Hawking, who addressed the academy in 2016. There are people that are going to listen to their religious leaders rather than scientists. And so it's important, and it's important that the Roman Catholic Church um, is open to this and has this scientific academy to be open to science and hear what we have to say. The Pontifical Academy of Sciences brings together scientists from all disciplines to discuss scientific solutions to the greatest challenges facing the world, such as one close to Pope Francis's heart, the environment. This uh, pope is really interested in the environment. Uh, and so many of us are. And, and so if you take environment as one of the examples, it isn't one area of scientists that can work with it. The environment is everything. It's the ice, it's the oceans, it's the air, it's the water, you know. So uh, biodiversity. So one kind of scientist can't possibly tackle that all on their own. Jennifer Dudna of the United States and Emmanuel Charpentier of France are the two other Nobel laureates named to the Academy in August. Together, they won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2020 for developing a method for genome editing.